Bishop John Prince Daniels. Do you remember? Yes, yeah, we, we had him here sometimes ago. When, when Archbishop arrived, he has, I mean, when Bishop arrived, he has preached for Archbishop John Prince Daniel. He has preached for Canon Ike. And, you know, he, he has had great meetings. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And this is, um, as a matter of fact, sir, we, we saw all the grace that was spared in those meetings. We are trusting God for the supernatural. Amen. We have prayed for you. Thank you. God bless Because of just one or two people 
that God sends someone. It may not be for the entire city or the whole Lagos. I believe for tonight. It's not for others who are not here, but for you that are in this house. It took us hours, like your pastor said, Apostle. There were a lot of obstacles on the way, hindrances on the way. But thank God, He brought us. How many of us here remember Pastor Patrick Inglis Yamusi? How many of us here remember him? If you talk of deliverance in this country, if not in this Africa, no one moved in deliverance like Amusi. When many of us had not even known deliverance, he was all over the world. Today, God says, call him. I spoke with him several months from U.S. So today, from nowhere, God said, just call him. I don't know where he was. I called him, Pete. I asked him, where are you? He said, I'm in Lagos. I said, oh, really? He said, yes. Hmm. I said, I'm in Lagos as well. He said, where am I? Where? I don't know Lagos. I handed over, I think, to Precious. You spoke to, to him. I was there was my spiritual father. He is the one that trained me. 1998-99 in South Africa. That's how I met with a bishop. I mean, uh, Bishop uh, Justin. Justin was sent to me where I was pastor. So Justin assisted me there. Listen, when we met with him, all of us, he prayed for every of us. We know exactly what happened with him. You know, devil does not fight a non-entity until the devil begins to find something in you. He will not fight you. Devil fought him, but I believe he did what God told him to do. He raised generals. What is he doing? So, I bless the Lord for meeting with him today. He prayed for all of us, laid hands on us, anointed us, and the prophet said, I will still be meeting him before we leave. Now, coming here, the enemy, that's why I knew something is about to happen. Yes. So, the trailer that ran, ran onto Dr. Precious, I wasn't surprised. When you study the Bible, the book of Mark, chapter 4, the man that had legion, he took the power of Jesus to deliver that man, nobody else. When Jesus crossed over after the storm, the wave, the wind and met with him. We know the story. At the end, he was delivered. And when he was delivered, that man was set free to carry out the assignment that God gave him. Because he was called a pastor. The Bible says he published the word, which means he was a pastor that was bound. It was the release of that man that opened the way for the gospel. Without Jesus coming in, that man would have died without preaching the gospel, meaning not realizing, living his gift, his talent, the will of God will not be made manifest in him. That is what is happening to a lot of people. Until you discover that Jesus didn't come for the church. 
Jesus came for the world. Let the church don't believe because you are a Christian. Everything is granted to you. It's not true. Being a Christian actually opens the door for attack. That's why a lot of believers are confused today. Because they opened the door for battle, mm -hmm. but they were not equipped to fight. You answer a Christian. The enemy sees you as an enemy. They will see you as an, as an enemy, as a target. Now you are not equipped, you are not strong, you are not committed in the church. You are a hack baked Christian. The protection fully is not there. Your body, your life, your home, your ministry becomes a punching bag. A battleground. God expects us to carry the battle to the gate, not to fight in our house. Until you discover that you're supposed to take the battle to the enemy's camp not allowing the enemy to come into your house. Hallelujah. As we go ahead, we will see understanding the power of a believer and how to overcome the air. What I mean the air is the heavenlies. You see why America is the strongest country in the world? America controls the air. The air. America doesn't attack anybody through the ground. It's the air. American Air Force is the strongest in the world. Anyone that controls the air controls the ground. When you learn how to control the air spiritually, you will control the ground. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I thank God for us being here. Apostle, I bless the Lord for you welcoming us in your domain, you and your wife, and all the men and the women of God around you. I know that God has something for us. You will never, never be the same after this. Amen. I don't talk too much. That's why people that know me, they will tell you, I only talk when I'm on the pulpit. After the pulpit, they won't hear my voice. I keep quiet. Sit down. This is the first lady, my wife, Pastor Bernadette. The one on the camera is Levon Natal from Chicago. He is the one in charge of our media to have a big team back home, I mean in the US. Next to him is the wife, Sharena. He's a singer. He's a gospel jazz singer. Well known in the US. She's in the media as well. Behind her is Elder Eukerio Zoshuko. Myself and the husband are elders. They are, they are the only African in our church. Wow. They are also Americans. 99.9% .9 of the congregation are Americans. We don't have Africans yet. Next to her is Angela Ngene, Mrs. Angela Ngene. That's the coordinator for Divine Touch Africa. The other two are left in Enugu. Actually, three. Yeah. Because, because we are how many? Eight. Eight of us that came. Angela lives in Enugu. So, eight of us came from US. And we'll be going back all, of, all eight of us. Now, next to my brother, that's Precious 
Marcel, Dr. Marcel. I'll be preaching in, in our church tomorrow morning. All the address of them. It's solo. And I'm also, I will expect you, because wherever I go, you see the way I came. You know, it's kind of intimidating because of our number. That's the honest truth. I will be honest with you. Anywhere we go, this is our trip. We pay for our hotel, pay for our flights, pay for everything. I don't expect fighting from you. Why am I doing that? We want to show people what the gospel is all about. What is the gospel of Jesus Christ? So that when we live here, it will be on record. We are not begging anybody in it. That's what made uh, Archbishop your praise. He was shocked. After the meeting, it wasn't there, it went, it was it was another meeting. It was Wakiri who hosted me. But he was on the phone, he watched it live from praise. After that, he called me immediately. Because of that meeting, he came to Enugu to the hotel. Asked me to follow him to Oka, which I didn't have time, like I told you. I only had one day to rest. We are still talking. I, and I'm I, he's the same thing. We did everything. I, they provided a hotel for us. They cooked everything. But, like I said, we are here to show the world what America stands for. You know America? America does things in a big way. America blesses every country. America is known for donation, helping, charity work. And the good thing with America, whatever you do, whatever you give, America, the government of America gives you back. Have your receipts, show it to the government, you get it back. You understand me? So we are not throwing money away here. So they know what I'm doing. We have the, the receipt for everything. So I will expect you tomorrow. You see the way we came here? We will support her tomorrow. Everybody here because I will go out of my way tomorrow. You will never be the same. Anybody have stepped my feet in his or her church never remain the same. Next to her is Neka. Neka is the one that coordinates the program here for her and then for me as well. This is my first time of seeing her. We have a lot in common. The family, two families. That's why we are here. And I know that this is the beginning of our relationship. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Now, I'm coming to the topic tonight. What's the topic again? Endless possibilities. Endless possibilities. Yes, sir. Now let's come to the book of Colossians. Colossians chapter 2. Read verse 9 and verse 10. Verse 9 and verse 10. God is so good that when you serve him, you see service can never be replaced. Amen. Service is the key. When you serve God, God will bring you to to, to full fulfillment, completeness, God's completeness. You become one with God, fully, consciously. Service is what made us what we are today in the world. God has opened the door for us. The presence of the government in the US in Alabama, it's felt. If you ask anybody in the US about the Divine Dutch Ministry for over, they will tell you, as of today, because of probably the COVID-19, I don't know. We were not big before, before the COVID-19. But during the coronavirus, everywhere was shut down. We were not ready to leave where we were renting. We were renting a place. Because we were not ready to go to our land. We have a land. 27.8 hectares at the heart of the city. We are, in, we are already. But because of this issue, 
Everybody was told, leave the house, leave wherever you are meeting and meet outside so that you maintain the distance. Mm. We refused to leave. Eventually, police started coming there. Then we were forced to leave. Then we moved our own place. When we got there, we started meeting outside. What we call the parking lot outside. Police started coming there as well. They never because it was a residential area. It's a reserved area for the whites. So they have the money, they have influence. But because of the condition of the country, not just the country, the whole world, coronavirus, government says, don't stop meetings. If you're having a meeting outside, make sure you maintain the six feet. Don't go too close to anybody. So when the police come, they will see us, we'll maintain the six feet. I don't stop preaching. The ministers, the security people will go and meet them. And they will see the paper printed. What the law says, they will, read, they will drive back, they go back. They did that to why the third time there was a message given by the governor where it says you can sit inside the car. If you are from a warm family, if you are many, but from one family, all of you can be in the car together. But if you are not from one family, you don't sit together in the car. So you have to be in the car and worship. We protest the Americans were angry. Everybody was angry, including even the white, because that wasn't the one that did that. Everybody was against them. Eventually, the government looked, what would they do? They picked the mandatory ministers and sent police there. Let police address the country from the mandatory ministers. Wow. If they do that, people will listen, because we'll have followers all over the state. We did that for a whole week. That was last year. This year again, they have written another letter. October. They want to do the same thing again this year. Not only that, interviews, television interviews, there is so much. Before we came here, I think a week before we came. On the 17th. We came here on the 23rd. On the 17th, there was an interview that's supposed to be aired to the BBC, Fox News, C-SPAN, and the rest of them. It's on now, by the time we are leaving. And the next one coming up on the 22nd and 23rd of April, that's another group. Now, because the first one that happened was, uh, what's her name again? Kate. Kate, Kate, yes. Kate uh, Delaney. Kate Delaney. Kate Delaney. Yes. That was the one who was working with NBC. National Broadcasting Corporation, the whole of US. He worked, for, he worked with them for a very long time. So he's a popular person. That's the first person that did the interview. From there, this second group came. Now they have circulated my name, the whole of US, everywhere. Why am I bringing this? It's because of what my brother said. You see, influence, connection, contact, very important. Prayers people made some time back. I believe nobody knows when God answers that. Those prayers, God connect me, send helpers to me, connect me to someone that will work with me. I believe this this day or tonight is answer to those prayers. God cannot be silent to a prayer of a faithful servant. It may take time. God knows the right time for manifestation. I believe what God is about doing, God will elevate everyone that is connected to this commission. Amen. Looking for a contract and having in mind, I want to be a blessing to the kingdom of God. You are looking for oil contract. I want to have an oil well. I want to have business, cooperation. Not just for my own selfish end, selfish interest, but for the kingdom. Hallelujah. That is what changed our life. Amen. Moment we started thinking of the kingdom, everything changed. Hallelujah. The property we have, 
as of today, is over three million dollars. Higher than that because we have built so much in the land. So it has raised the value more. Now, did we have the money to buy that? No. God gave that to us. Because we have or we had the heart to help people. We are helping people, building houses for people, building, you know, even outside the country, in this Africa, like in the East, we are helping so many people. When I mean helping, we, we are helping people, setting business up for them. Right now, this week, as we go back, Mother Comfort and the team, they've already mapped out people that will be helped, setting them up for businesses. Money mapped out for them. So that they don't be asking, because we keep sending money to people just to help them donation. At a point, we ask ourselves, what is it for? Help them start businesses. Let them take care of themselves. And stop all this donation every day. That is what we are doing right now. So here, how God is moving in your life, by the end of three years, I don't, I don't think you'll still be here. Amen. Amen. Unless you want to keep this place as one of the branches. Many a times people want to keep probably where you started or a particular place for reasons known to them, like for memorial. There was a time you were struggling, there was a time we had number of this, number of that, we were 10 or 20, 100, but today look at us. That's why you say you keep this place. Because I see you going far. Amen. You cannot be connected to us and still remain here. Amen. It's not possible. Amen. It is not possible. Amen. Everybody that has connected to this ministry is far. Very, very far. That's why I'm Bishop Young prays. I don't, there are things that are secret, but I'll just only him. He has seen something in me. Initially, I thank Justin, Bishop Justin, because he's the one that connected me to you. And the praise to I is Justin that did all these connections. And Justin, keep telling, we are not coming here for money. We are coming for ministration, for connection, for you people to know this person. That's all. I've never preached here before. I mean, in Lagos, in Abuja, I've never. I only come and go. I've been doing preaching in the U.S. This is the first time I'm branching out to preach in other people's churches. I know that everyone that had a calling in this house today, something has started. Amen. You will never, never be the same again. Amen. Have your seat. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Colossians chapter 2, verses 9 down to 10. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In who? In Jesus, Jesus dwells all the fullness, all the fullness of Godhead bodily. And you are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. You are complete. You are complete. You are complete in him. When you look at Jesus, you see, you see God. Body, not in spirit, bodily. As you are looking at him, you are looking at God. Now, you look at yourself. You say you are complete. You are complete in the same Jesus that is complete in God. You are complete in him, which is head of all principality and powers. Now, the question is, where does principality and power operate? They don't operate on the ground. They operate in the heavenlies. You remember my statement? If you are able to conquer the heavenlies, you conquer the earth. You are looking to succeed on earth. Control the earth. 
as wise as Daniel, man with excellent wisdom, Daniel had no clue of what was fighting him. Daniel, if you talk of prayer, nobody can pray like Daniel. If you talk of wisdom, until we we'll talk about Solomon. But Daniel, the Bible calls Daniel, man with excellent wisdom. Still, Daniel had no idea about principality. It was through Paul in the New Testament that people now got to know about principality. This is the same part that talks about grace, 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 like in U.S. You know, in U.S., people don't believe in demons. You'd be surprised. You know, in U.S., everything is provided for. I tell them, in U.S., demons dress in suit. But in Africa, in Nigeria, demons dress like the mechanic. That's it. Walking, you see a demon, you know this is a demon. But in US, you cannot recognize a demon. Are we together? Yes. Principality is something that it doesn't come down here, it's over there, up there. If somebody is under attack, spiritual attack, and the person decides to relocate to another place. The principality over this area, or let me say over, over Lagos, you said to relocate maybe to Benin. The principality here in Lagos does not move to Benin. He only signal those in Benin that this guy is coming over there. How do I know this? Lucifer was in heaven. If you talk of arrangement, administration, Lucifer understands that very, very well. The same way in heaven, heaven was organized, Lucifer came down here forcefully and set up his government the same way. And as a matter of fact, he has more people. Remember, two third of the angels followed him. Only one third is left in, the, in heaven. Two third followed him. So he has more angels working for him. So why must they be running from here to there? It's signal. Now, if you remember when Jesus was crossing over, with the disciples to deliver the man with the legion. It was the principality in that region that fought him. Steer the water there. There was wave, serious wave. Wind blew the whole thing, water into the boat. But because of the presence of Jesus, they would have been dead, all of them. So, it was not demon fighting Jesus, but principality from the end that shifted the wind, blew the wind. When they crossed over, when he met with the man at Gadar and asked him, what is your name? He said, my name is Legion, for we are many. Now, when you study Legion, Legion tells you is a group of at least 2,000 soldiers. That's the meaning of legion. In one man. In one man. Now when Jesus said they should leave the man, what did they say? Do not send us away from our region, from our place. They belong to that region. That tells you principalities occupy regions. Regions. And Jesus understands that. Did Jesus question that? No. He said, if you are casting us out, cast us into the swine. So that we see it remain in the same region. Which he did. Are you listening here? So now, when you talk of deliverance, deliverance, 
That is a man that was called to be a pastor. And that same man was arrested spiritually. Now imagine if Jesus did not show up. That man will die there without fulfilling his And someone will say, I prophesy, I see you do this and do that. Which I believe that man got the same prophecy, just like everybody else. But come to the fulfillment. The enemy will never attack somebody who will not change situations. Someone who will not have an impact. The more attack you have, the more you're supposed to do for the Lord. Did you hear me? Listen. Until you discover that your attack is because of what you are carrying. Until you discover that, you will be blaming your neighbor, blaming your family people, blaming yourself for mistakes made in the past. There is nobody that God uses who never made mistakes. Look at Noah. Noah made a mistake. Drunk. Look at Abraham. Abraham made a mistake. Did God tell Abraham to go to Egypt? No. But he went to Egypt. Did God tell him to go and sleep with a maid? No. But he did that. Look at the children. All the same thing. Mistakes upon mistakes. So without mistake, you will not acknowledge your weakness. Why does God come to us? Because of our weakness. So he changes our weakness to strength. So that brings humility. It makes you to know that you are weak. When you are weak, you become what? Strong in him. That is what made us, when we realize that we cannot do anything except to rely on him. And he began doing things that no man would have done. That opened the door for us. Today, people are wondering, how did we get to where we are? Nobody can explain from among ourselves. What we were even praying, say, God, don't allow this. God, use that to bless us. Amen. God is about to bless you, my brother. Amen. I say, He's about to bless you. Amen. Everything that you've started, everything that you have put your hand in, everything that you have stepped into, God is about to turn them into gold. Amen. Understanding that God wants you to live in abundance. In Him, in Him dwells the fullness of God bodily. And in Him you are complete. You are what? Complete. So if I'm complete in Jesus, why am I struggling? If I'm complete in Jesus, why am I walking in a in, 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 in a ragged? I mean, when I'm complete, if I'm complete in him, did Jesus walk poor? Did Jesus walk sick? Did Jesus walk defeated? It's impossible because I am complete in him. It's no longer me but him. Paul says, in him dwells the fullness of God. And I am complete in him. So if anybody will stop me, that person will first of all stop him. If Jesus was not stopped, who can stop you? The character of God. So, when you talk about the anointing, you talk about the character. I tell people, you see, the gift of the Holy Spirit and the fruit of the Holy Spirit. The fruit is the character. The gift is the anointing. And then who is Jesus? Jesus is God revealed until you discover who Jesus is. Then you'll be able to walk with the demonstration of God. Who is the demonstration of God? The Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is here. Jesus is not here. You cannot do anything without the power of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is here with you until you are consciously aware of it. If you're not aware that Holy Ghost is here, then you'll be walking in fear. If you remember Jesus says, what he was teaching them, they could no longer comprehend. Until the spirit of truth, which is the Holy Ghost comes. And when the Holy Ghost comes, they will 
leave Jerusalem. But for now, they should not try it. The moment the Holy Ghost came, they came out of the shell. Peter, who never went to school, started speaking different languages. Who taught him? The Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is about to teach somebody today. I say it's about to teach you today. Until you discover that you are not just yourself, there is something somewhere that God has kept for you. There is a power somewhere that God has kept for you. That this is the time appointed when people begin to understand the color of God in your life, you will see this is your time. Time for explosion. It is your time. Time for uplifting. It is your time. Time for deliverance. It is your time. Time for healing. The Bible says that as Jesus was teaching, it came to a point when the power of healing was available. And when it became available, everything changed. I see someone here tonight. I see, I see someone here today. I see someone here tonight. From that pain tonight. From cancer tonight. From poverty tonight. Say I receive it. The demonstration of the power of God. That's the Holy Ghost. The demonstration until you are lifted up by the Holy Ghost. You cannot move mountain until you discover that this is not just ordinary. This is the demonstration of the word of God. Paul said that what we have come to do is not the enticing words of man's but the demonstration of the power of God. Not the entire words of man's wisdom, but the demonstration of his power. The demonstration of God's power means the healing power of God. The demonstration of God's power means the deliverance power of God. The demonstration of God's power means the provisions of God. Demonstration, when you speak, heaven backs it up. When you talk, heaven is talking. That's an ambassadorial power. Ambassador cannot be talking without heaven backing it up. Jesus is not here. We are here. Amen. What did he say? Occupy what he has done until he comes back. For now he hasn't come back. We are here. Yes. We are God that people are seeing here. Yes. God told Moses, I have made you God over the one they are afraid of. Why are you afraid of Pharaoh? Yes. Why are you afraid of people around here? Why are you afraid? I have made you what? God over them. Walk like God. Speak like God. Move like God. And the heaven will rejoice. I hear people always go to bad places looking for power somewhere else. What for? That's the power. That's right. It may take you years. Be patient. But thank God that tonight is the night. Unlimited possibilities. To man, it is impossible. Not with God. For with God, all things are possible. What is the difference between you and God? Somebody will say, well, that blasphemy. They try to make themselves God. What did God call you? God. You are God. Now, when you know whom you are, why must you accept wrong name? You know that you are God here on earth. You are little God. Let us make them in our image and likeness. What is that? Image. The image of God. The characteristics of God. The omnipotence. The omnipresence. The omniscience. These three are in man. That's the making of man. The making of man. Man is omnipresence. How is man omnipresence? When you dream, where does your body go? It doesn't go anywhere. You can be dreaming in the night or in the day when you fall asleep. See yourself in Hala. But you're in your house here. Where did you go? Jesus says, Behold, the kingdom of God is in you, within you. Which means the whole world 
is in you. In your dream, Ehala is in you. In your dream, New York is in you. Omnipresence. Omnipresence. You can be anywhere at the same time. Omnipotence. You can do anything. This must be understood. Otherwise, you will not live that unlimited possibility you are talking about today. You must understand the scripture. The difference between a believer and unbeliever is revelation. When you have the revelation of what the scripture is all about, you will walk like him. Let them be like us. Walk like him. That is exactly what Peter got when he got Peter come. And Peter was able to walk on water. Because he was able to catch that. But while he was walking, he realized, I'm not supposed to be doing this. Distraction. Moment he turned away from him. He went down. Yes. Understanding that you will never, no matter the attack, no matter what, they, that's why when we are coming, that, that trail of water, I don't know, or I don't know what they call them here, ran into our sister. I knew that was distraction. I didn't come out from the attack. You remember? I sat there, that's why. Because I knew they were doing all kinds of things for us not to come here. But already, God has ordained us to be in this sanctuary. Right, right, right. So no matter what the enemy tries to do, I say no ways. I refuse to be distracted. We refuse to be distracted. Yeah. Because someone tonight is about to be released. Yeah. Whatever it will cost me to get to you, I'm ready to pay for it. Amen. Let my body be a living sacrifice. Amen. Holy and acceptable yes. unto him, which is my reasonable service. Yes. There is no better service than following him. Yes, Just like Abraham followed him, not knowing where he was going, but he went anyway. And it was counted unto him for what? Righteousness. So righteousness is not even holiness. It's obedience. Right. We tell somebody, do this. Do it on question. Until you understand that heaven works with people who are obedient. People who are teachable. People who are faithful. People who are humble. All these are what make man. Man. Jesus said, don't call me good for no man is good i am the son of man that's what jesus says he is the son of man not son of god and as far as this earth is concerned that's why he prayed like you and me he fasted like you and me god does not fast god does not pray but jesus prayed that tells you jesus came as man not as god so for you to survive here on earth you must learn how to pray does everybody pray? Yes. But does everybody get a war result? No. Which means there is a way to pray. That's why the Jesus teach us how to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of us want God to do something tonight? We're going to pray. Now what stopped your parents? What stopped your forefathers? What stopped those ahead of you? Will not stop you. Yeah. That because you are in this sanctuary tonight, God has given you a waiver. A waiver is exemption. It came to you and stopped. That bloodline problem came to you because you are concerned. Because of you, it will go no further. Amen. As we go into prayer, say, God, give me exemption. Exemption. That what troubled my family, what took away my father, what took away my mother, 
report to the widow that's supposed to help me. Father, may my case be a bus stop for such. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything that happened that stopped your forefathers, your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, your helpers in the past, because of one reason or the other, may God grant you exemption. Because you are involved. Because you are involved. Because I am involved. Because I've stepped my feet in this sanctuary. And because my feet have stepped in this sanctuary, Father, may you wash my feet. May you order my feet. May you polish my feet. May you grant me ownership. 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 Wherever I step, I possess. Possession. Possession, 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 possession. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Our second prayer. May God open the ceiling. Whatever is sealed over me that makes my prayer to bounce back. May such a ceiling be lifted. May such a ceiling be lifted. So that as I pray, it will get to the throne of God. The throne heaven of God. That the principality will not stop it. As they did against Daniel. That whatever I pray tonight will get to the throne heaven of God. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Holy Baba. Mayebo Shondo. Father, may tonight be a night of remembrance, a night of open heaven, a night of open heaven. That will stop Daniel, will not stop me. That my destiny is connected to heaven. My destiny is linked to heaven. That tonight is my night, my night of memory, my night of impartation, my night of increase. Yes, Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Father. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you Holy Spirit. In Jesus now we pray. Yes Lord. Now we pray for supply. Provisions. 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 May God provide. God has more than enough. As we read, we are complete in him. Jesus never lacked. There were people that were supplying, even though it came as man. When you read, when you read the book of Luke, you see there, people were there making supplies to him. Mark says the same thing. They were there making supplies to him. He never lacked, even though he has the power of multiplication, miraculous power, turning wine, turning water into wine, and making the loaves and the fish, multiplying them. Still, there were people, women, who were supplying for him. Susan, Mary Magdalene, and the rest of them, they made sure he never lacked. May God send supply to you. Amen. That will carry it as burden. That you will not struggle. You will not do this work of God alone. You need support. You need helpers. You need those that God used you to touch their lives. That they will not forget what you did for them. They will follow you because of what God used you to do in their lives. Mary Magdalene will deliver out of seven demons. And because of that, he never forgot Jesus. May such become your portion. Amen. That everyone that received testimonies and walked away, not turning back, may God turn them back to you. Amen. I say, may God turn them back to you. Amen. Open your mouth and begin to pray. May you be remembered by those that you help, by those that God helped through you. May you be remembered. Baba Shanda. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. For he says, 
that men will give to you good measures, spread and shake it together, run it over. Shall men give to you, not God, shall men give to you. May you be remembered by those that you have helped, those you raised, those you started businesses for, those you prayed for, those you helped. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we glorify you. We glorify you. We exalt you, Lord. 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 That this is our time. It is our season. It is our season. It is our season. It is our season. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Go, Rebaba. Go, yes. Talk to him. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh Baba Shanda. Thank you Lord. 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 Thank you for hope them. Thank you for remembrance. Thank you for blessing. Thank you for promotion. Thank you for payback. Thank you that those that went left the church for no reason. Because they felt they have received what they wanted. Without saying thank you. Just one out of ten came back to thank Jesus. And Jesus asked that question. Are you the only one? Where are the nine? Father, may that not be our portion. In Jesus' name we pray. The last prayer. May God dip our feet in the oil. May God keep your feet in the oil Unknown people begin to say you are lucky You were born with a golden spoon in your mouth Without them knowing that you had an encounter with the Lord Open your mouth and bring it to God. Dip my feet in the oil. Baba Bashanda. Hori Baba Boshondo. Hori Baba Baba. Mayebo Shondo the boy. Glory. Thank the Lord late tonight. Be a night of encounter. The struggle. The poverty. The poverty spirit. Cast out. Leave. Let your people leave their feet in the oil. Struggle. You will never walk in lack. It is over. Lack is over. Lack is over. Lack is over. It is over. Hore Baba Baba Shanda. As we receive the blessings from above, as we receive abundance from above, as we receive open heaven, connect us, Lord, tonight to our destiny. Connect us, Lord, to our helpers. Connect us, Lord, to those of influence. Connect us, Lord. The prayers made in the past may we begin to see the manifestation. Hore Baba. Hore Baba Shondo. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus.
Jesus, now we pray. Amen.